We're back. Josh and Joe with Browns recap. This time, five days later, much happier. Oh, much yeah. better. Much. I mean, the Browns are going to the Super Bowl, right, Joe? Oh, yeah. 15 and 1. That's what Scott just tweeted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, the way. That, Granted, it's the Cincinnati Bengals, but it's crazy what a difference five days makes. But I guess that's what happens when you play the Ravens versus when you play the worst team in the, in the division. Yeah. But still, I mean, the Browns looked – they struggled defensively still, um, yeah. at least in the secondary. But the offense looked way better. Yeah. Every every facet of the offense looked better. I mean, Baker, Nick Chubb, Kareem Hunt, OBJ – I was excited. It was, it was fun to watch. For the first time in quite a while, Browns football was fun, and we cannot take that for granted. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is the uh, this is the offense that I expected from Stefanski coming in, and it took a week, but that was great to see today. They built off the run. Uh, Chubb and Hunt were just dominating. <laughs> um, the offense line was amazing. Um, even with uh, Conklin out, Hubbard stepped in and did really well. And Baker and Chubb and Hunt, they were really good without any pressure or anything. And they just dominated the Bengals defense pretty much the whole night, barring that one uh, turnover and that goal line opportunity. But, yeah, other than that, they were, it was perfect. And and the defense, I, I – I'm not expecting them to be good until they get fully healthy. Um, but the, at least the defensive line was dominant. Um, they really beat up Burrow all day. Yeah, I mean, the defense was supposed to struggle as it was now with all these injuries. It's like they're yeah. playing third and fourth strainers. And, I mean, it is what it is. Against a Cincinnati team where they can just outscore them, I guess it's all right. But, obviously, last week or yeah. last Sunday we saw against Baltimore where it won't go as well. But, I mean, it, it like I said, it is what it is until they get fully healthy and improve yeah. a little bit. Yeah. You would like uh, you would like them to play better, but I, it's just – they're playing they're playing safeties at corner. It's, I just – it's, it's hard for them to be good. Um, but there were some standouts on defense. Um, Denzel Ward was amazing. He yes. shut down A.J. Green. I think he had – I think I, I saw he had 13 targets, but three catches for like 29 yards or something like that, which is amazing. Um, and then he was Denzel was pretty much on on him all day. Um, yeah. And then the pass rush was just after Burr all day. He, he, I I couldn't believe how much how much Burrow got just hammered, <laughs> and he kept going. So he was impressive, but that offensive line is going to kill him. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, that that was one of the things we even said pregame was the Browns with the defensive line as good as it is, with the yeah. secondary as bad as it is, and with Cincinnati's offensive line as bad as it is, the Browns' defensive line has to get to Burrow, and they did all night. Yeah, all night, yeah. That was – if they didn't have that, they would be, oh, my God. <laughs> it would have been – they were the same great – see, the, the defense at least was – they – um they at least held them to field goals for most of the game. So that kind of kept them in it. Um, it was the old adage, bend, but do not break. Um, but yeah, the, the front, the front line and front defensive line was just amazing today. Um, even Porter Gustin stepping in, uh, for the injuries on to Adrian Claiborne and, uh, Olivia Vernon. He was really good. <laughs> um, so yeah. uh, the full deep on, on the edge, which is a great, luxury but uh hopefully we can get Claiborne and Vernon back um yeah that was fun but I mean also when you have Miles Garrett it makes the entire defense line look so much better because of all the attentions on him yeah. that's why when everyone's like oh man Miles Garrett's not doing anything but it's because they're all the attention is focused on him he's not the whole other game, the whole game. Yeah. he was yep. or chipped or something he was always yeah there's always multiple people watching them um, yeah, that's why uh, other guys were uh, having opportunities. Uh, Ch- uh, Sheldon Richardson was the star of the game on defense besides yeah. Denzel. And he <laughs> he lived in the backfield for most of the game. Um, yeah. You know, he was 
he was amazing. And going back to Denzel, it was nice to see him dominate like that because his potential has always been there, but he was hurt a lot last year. So against, I mean, I know AJ Green's not the old AJ Green, but he's still really good, especially Mm -hmm. when he's healthy. And to hold AJ Green to 29 yards on 13 targets, yeah, pretty impressive. Yeah, yeah, that's the Denzel that we expected. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Now, if you had 3D Williams to go opposite of him, that'd be so much better. But I mean, I mean so when you try to pick on Denzel Ward and he's not going to let it happen, that changes the game so much. Right. Yeah. Yeah. They pretty much took a receiver out of the game. <laughs> yeah. And during this broadcast, I just realized that Craig made his own little background. Look at the Lindell Insurance no. app, right? Special. What's this, what's this free advertising? We better be getting a trip for this money. <laughs> <laughs> I know we better. <laughs> All right, but back to the game. Yeah, I'm. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to talk to the big man about that. <laughs> yeah. Um. But Baker. So Baker, I think he started off eight for eight, nine for nine. I think so. Yeah. It was something like that, and he had five. He had nine straight completions to five or six different receivers. I mean, yeah. Yeah. One of those OBJ. Yeah. I mean, no. you can't ask for much more than that. Yeah, that was the offense that we expected. Pass it to everybody on the team. Keep it, spread it out like you're a point guard. Um, I love the play action. The first two plays were play action. And good uh, good ways to get them an open, open target, get them some confidence right away. And I, I thought it was just a perfect – I thought Stavansky called just a perfect – Perfect game. Besides the goal line, four plays or whatever, um, he had just a perfect, perfect play calling day. Um, so it was really impressive to see. Yes, yes, I agree. Yeah, I mean, he had a cut. Yeah, the goal line answer, but I like, I like how he not only went for it on fourth down, but he ran it again because he had faith in Nick Chubb and the offensive line. Mm-hmm. It sort of gave a little. Confidence boost, I guess. Even though they didn't get it, it still showed that the head coach believes in you. Right. Yeah. Don't rely on your kicker. Even though oh. you made five extra points. Five for five. Couldn't believe it. I, I think when we need all 22. I, I think Joe's the to... kicker. <laughs> oh, did you go five for five? Yeah. <laughs> I think your film room this week has to be on extra points. The all 22 extra points. <laughs> Just You never know. <laughs> but seriously um oh and we can't forget that nick chubb and kareem hunt i mean if the browns are winning in the fourth quarter how are you ever going to stop that the defense is tired and no matter what both of them are fresh that yeah that that final drive was just beautiful <laughs> that's that's what you that's what they've always talked about doing being able to run when you're up and you need to close out a game the it's a beautiful it. event. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. They they did it in dominating form too. <laughs> Instead of running the ball on fourth and nine, they can run it while they're winning the game. Right. Kill the clock. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. It's a oh like, my god. It's like so a whole nice new dimension. <laughs> yep. Yeah, they had let's see, they had thirty two carries for two hundred and ten yards. I mean, yeah. How are you gonna stop that? Yeah. And it was uh I saw a next gen um they had 90, those two had uh, over 90 yards over expected yards, which is like, uh, so they made they made more yards at, like out of nothing. Mm-hmm. So 90 yards, that's, a, that's impressive. Those two, that's, that's decent. Yeah, just a bit. <laughs> more, more than a third of your yards were not expected. Yeah. <laughs> and also, speaking of yards, they had 219 passing yards, 215 rushing yards. I mean, perfect. You, not, you can't ask for much more than that either. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Basically, yeah. 50 50. Yeah, they, they control the clock in the second half. It was exactly what you want to see when you're leading. Mm-hmm. Actually, surprisingly, I thought they did control the clock as well. It must have been that first quarter. The first, the, yeah, the, first half, the first half they weren't leading in clock management, but um, I yeah. think the second half they were. It was basically 34 minutes to 26 minutes if you round. But, yeah, the first quarter, I mean, the Bengals had the ball for the first eight minutes of the game. So, 
<laughs> that was a, I got a little nervous after that. Yeah. Oh, God. Burrow made it look easy with the horrible offensive line. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, um, going back to Burrow, though, um, he was super impressive. Um, yeah. But, man, I I don't know how he can make it through this season. Throwing 60 to 60 times behind that offensive line, they got to they gotta do something for him. I, I mean, mean they he can have great survive. Joe you know, Mixon is a good, good but he's not – they don't have a second guy behind him, though. That's the thing. They have Giovanni right. Bernard, who's not that good. Yeah, he's a receiving threat, but yeah, yeah, not a runner. Yeah, they need yeah. to do something. They can't. They can't. They can't put him out there like that. He's going to get injured and. Yeah, it's Tim very Couch. clear. Yeah, I was just to say Tim Couch. Yeah, it's very clear that Burrow can be very good, but they need right. to set him up for success. He needs to. I mean, not to talk about the Bengals so much, but. Their next offseason has to be solely focused on offensive oh, line, yeah. and they need three new offensive linemen. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yep. But yeah, I Burrow in the division along with Lamar Jackson is not ideal for the Browns yeah. for years. <laughs> hey, but we got Baker. But yeah, but we have we Baker have and Nick Chubb and yeah. Kareem Hunt and Odell Beckham and Jarvis Landry. Yep, yeah. we got the best offensive skill players. Yeah, overall. <laughs> Um, just looking at the stats here, Austin Hooper, again, I mean, he had two nice catches, Mm -hmm. but the highest paid receiver in the NFL, and he has two catches for 22 yards after a disappointing first game, too. I don't know if that's on Stefanski for not getting him involved more, or Baker for not looking at him more, or, I mean. I think they were just spreading it out. Yeah. Um, He did get four targets, um, it looks like. It's, I mean, it's hard, it's tough to complain about the offense after how they just played tonight, but right, he did. He did, he did make a big third down catch that was a huge True. play in the game. Um, Hooper, Hooper, I think it was like a third and nine or so. He yeah, made a big one to extend the drive. Um, but yeah, it's hard to hard to art hard to argue with anything on offense tonight. <laughs> yeah, I know. Thirty five points. We cannot take that for granted with this freaking team. Right. Yeah. Um. I mean, yeah, you can't ask for much more. I don't know who they're playing. Now they have, I mean, a short week stinks, but now you have 11 days to prepare for your next opponent, yeah. which is, oh, the Washington, Washington football team. team. Yeah. <laughs> this is this is the week where you hope to have all your guys get get uh, healthy this week. Hopefully you get Burner back. You get Hopefully Claiborne's not too bad injured. Hopefully some of the – I heard Mac Wolf might be coming back soon. Um, he, he's progressing faster than they thought, so hopefully he comes back. And at least either Greedy or Kevin Johnson comes back. They need they yeah. need they need a corner out there. <laughs> yeah, looking at what Washington did last Sunday, they definitely. I mean, Washington, I'd say is probably better than Cincinnati. Especially yeah. their defense. Their defense. Their is defense is really good. They're legit. Yeah, that yeah. front that front defensive line is very good. Um, Chase so Young. They'll, they'll definitely uh, they'll definitely give them a good test. Um, but it's it's a winnable game. All, every game is winnable. I think talent. What what the Browns have talent wise, they should be in every game. Um, well, when they're going to go fifteen and one, so obviously every game. That's is true. Yes, Scott already declared that, so it's already yeah. be true. Fifteen and one. <laughs> they just threw the first game just so they couldn't have a perfect season after an That's imperfect true. season two years ago. Yeah, it's bad luck to have a perfect season. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They have Washington and then at Dallas. Oof, that's tough. Oh, yeah. But yeah, that's just eleven days. Focus on Washington. Go two and one. Get some of the confidence back after a horrible week one. Yeah. That, that was exact. We talked about it after the game. We we just needed to wipe that that game away, and they did exactly that. They they put that behind them, and they looked really good this week. It yeah, was a great. That was a great sign as coaching staff and as team. They they moved on. They improved on what they what they were um, struggled with. They stuck with the the game plan for the whole entire game, and that was great to see. Because the game one, they it, it kind of got away from them, um, but today they stuck with it, stuck with the run game, and it was just a perfect edu- uh, executed game, offensively at least. Yeah, 
And even the first couple of drives when you can tell that it was so, sort of uh, scripted, not really many adjustments. I mean, mm-hmm. as the perfect script. Oh, yeah. yeah Play definitely. actions, run games, get Baker yeah. in rhythm, get Nick Chubb the ball. It was, I yeah. don't you know, asked for much more than that. No, yeah. yeah. That, that, that's exactly what you wanted to see coming out of the gates. Yeah. And now the Browns are one and one. Mm-hmm. They have Washington. I, I keep wanting to say Washington Redskins, but it's the Washington football team. Washington, yeah, the football. Washington football team in 10 days. Another Buckeye. Yep. Another Buckeye quarterback. There's Buckeyes <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> I, hope, I hope Dave and Gerbs hear me say that because there's Buckeyes <laughs> in every team. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, this, but yeah. Is, this should be a good, uh, good kind of 11 days to regroup, see, see what they did well, improve on, and get healthy. It's the number one thing. Just get healthy. Yeah, exactly. Um, but, yeah, and, I mean, your film room is going to be a lot more fun this week. Well, oh, yeah. next week, I guess. Yes. So much Jake, more fun. Jake Burns' this film room, I can't – I don't know how he watches the game, like, ten times in a row when it's <laughs> as ugly as Baltimore. I know. I couldn't. I think, I, especially that first game. That was worth I would it. Either, yeah, I would either cry myself to sleep or have to gouge my eyes out. <laughs> Yeah, especially. I mean, up, kudos to you guys, but holy cow! Especially waking up this morning and and looking at the uh, the the coaches' film, the all twenty two film, and that was rough. <laughs> Seeing what Baker missed um, in game one. Yeah. Uh, so it was, it was great to see hey, turn around we, and we threw away that film. Yes, I I don't but, remember what game one was. One last thing, I don't, I don't know. ESPN has had the first half and second half stats, but I don't think Baker threw the ball that much in the second half. No, yeah, that, well, that final drive, he, he didn't even throw any. Um, he was sixteen of twenty three overall, but I think he had like thirteen or fourteen completions in the first half. Yeah, he was. They were, they relied on the running game a lot more in the second yeah. half. I mean, finally, they were they were yeah. able to do that and had plenty of success doing it. Yeah, well, it was two, four, six, eight, eight different guys got a catch in the game too. That was great to see. Yeah, with all the with all the all the talent on this offense, they should be spreading it around. Mm-hmm. Harrison Bryant had a nice catch too, which was nice to see. Yeah, he's he's definitely going to be he's going to be a guy that's going to keep getting better and better each each week, and uh, it should be fun to watch him get better and. Be more dangerous in the passing game. Yeah, he was the guy Baker was throwing to on that interception too. That would have been a touchdown, but obviously it was intercepted. Yeah, but yeah, that was yeah. his only mistake of the day, <laughs> which was yep. great to see. Um, yeah, he just I'll take one mistake. On, yeah, he just got greedy on that one. Um, he needs to learn to not be greedy when you had the lead and you have Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt. But hey, and, you gotta take risks. That, yeah, especially that drive too. They were. Rolling down the sh- rolling down the field with the run game, yeah. Uh, but it's nice to see him rebound on the, on the next drive and just continue to roll down the field with the run game and put it away. Mm-hmm. For sure. Is that all you have? I think that's yeah. it for me. Yeah, it was fun. All right. <laughs> Thanks, guys, for joining us again. Glad we were able to talk about a win this time, and we will be back with you guys in about ten days after hopefully another win. Yeah. Against the Washington football team. Yeah. But thanks for joining us. I'm Josh. He's Joe. Browns are one and one, baby. Super Bowl bound. Super Bowl fifteen and one, baby. <laughs>